What inspired me to make porn for women, or as I like to call it, erotica for women, was the fact that these movies are sold based on the women, but our sexuality was completely ignored in them. And I thought it was just high time to make something that women could enjoy. I knew women were becoming very curious. This was the mid-80s. They wanted to look at something sexy. Men wanted to watch them with their women, and there was nothing there. And home video was born, and this gave women a wonderful, safe place to look. And it was just ready. The market wasn't listening, and I was. I think it's really difficult to say what women want, because we're all different. We're all exploring. And that's what's important, is that we all, as women, seize control of the reins of production and explore what we like, because otherwise men will continue to do it for us. But I think one thing is that women like a context. I believe that women want to see real people that um, they can identify with, not be intimidated by. They want to see real lovers uh, doing, having sex the way we have sex, not this mechanical wham bam thank you ma'am, these little baby doll girls, you know, shove as many things into them as you can. We want to see real situations and I think women want a context. Who are these people? Why are they here together? And what would they really do in this situation? I think that my limitations are that um, the people really be doing something they're enjoying. And I think that women can tell very clearly when the woman in the situation is not really into it, is not really enjoying herself, is under some sort of duress. And I don't think there's anything wrong, bad, or ugly about sex. If this is really what you want, if it's consensual, done responsibly and with compassion, it's fine, it's all good. But I want to really feel that these people are doing what they want to do and that it, it feels right for them. I think women are going to be a big part of the adult film industry. Um, I think that it is clear that women are the rising new customers and viewers. And it is going to be very important that the indus industry respond to this. But I think it's going to take women in positions of power to really respond to it correctly. Men, the men that run the industry are still relative dinosaurs. And they just, they lack vision. They see, uh, they only know, they're not visionaries. They know money, they know bottom lines, but they really don't understand what women want in terms of adult movies any more than many men understand what women want in bed, in their own bedrooms. And so it's really going to take women getting into positions of power to bring this market to where it can, can be. Not just the women filmmakers, but women running the companies. So I want to bust a sex myth. I hear a lot, and particularly in my role as, as staff sexologist at Good Vibrations, I hear all the time that people are worried that they're not normal because they're not achieving either simultaneous orgasm, which is not maybe as rare as the unicorn, but which not everybody has, so relax. But mainly people think they're not normal or their partner's not normal because they're not orgasming during heterosexual intercourse, penis-vagina intercourse, and maybe even in some contexts. I hear this in a sort of an intercourse variant context with dildos and harnesses, but mainly I hear it from heterosexual women or heterosexual men who, for whom the, the partnership is implied to mean that if you're really supposed to be together and if you're sexually normal and everything's going right, you're supposed to have orgasms during intercourse. But maybe 70% of women who have been, self-identified women who have been surveyed in the United States, not 7%, not 17, 70, don't regularly or ever have orgasms with intercourse. The reasons are varied, but they're also rather simple. The clitoris is the 
main sexual sensation organ for many, many women. And while lots and lots of women love intercourse and they enjoy it greatly, and for some sex isn't even complete and fabulous and perfect without it, it isn't necessarily enough to get everybody over the top into orgasm. And add to that the fact that in a culture with bad sex education, we have a problem with people learning about arousal and optimal arousal, and that vaginal penetration without optimal arousal is pretty much almost never gonna result in orgasm, no matter how long you go, no matter if you believe the spams you read in your inbox and you go all night long, and you're big, and you're big enough, and that's not the stuff that's important. What's important is how aroused is everybody before that event, and I'm not even going to call it the main event because in many people's lives it's not. How aroused are people? And if you don't know the answer to that, more of this, a little more tongue, some sex toys, keep going. When a person with a vagina, or anus for that matter, wants it enough to say, I want it, that's a darn good time to start.